Hello again, I'm Robert Breaker, and I thought I'd bring to you a, a song that I heard years ago. I guess it's just called the King James Bible Song. And when I was in Bible school, I heard this song one time by a fellow student in, in uh, church, and I said, man, this, this is a good song, and I've never heard it since. And I love this song so much, I asked that young man, would you please help me, uh, give me the words to that song, and he did. And I thought I'd sing that song for you today, and I think it'll be an encouragement and a blessing to you. Most people that watch my videos, they know that we are in the last days. And that means we are in a day and age of apostasy. And apostasy, of course, is they falling away from the truth. Many have fallen away from the truth of the gospel. So many in so-called Christianity today don't even preach the gospel anymore. They've fallen away from that. But sadly, many have fallen away from the true Word of God the scriptures, the Bible, the King James. I believe that the King James Bible is God's word for us today. And I don't just say that flippantly because I just, well, you know, I just I go to a, a, a certain church that believes that. I have studied the issue and I have found that new versions of the Bible take out whole verses and change words and it literally changes doctrines. I went to Guatemala one time and met a man down there a long story, but short, short story uh, to make it short. Um, I asked him, which Bible do you use in Spanish? And he says, well, my pastor said to use the NIV. But he said, I started reading it, and there were whole verses missing. I said, forget it. That's not a Bible. Amen? So somebody that takes verses out of the scriptures and perverts things and changes doctrines and then calls it a Bible? Huh. So that's apostasy. That's what's happened in the world today. People have fallen away from the blessed old King James Bible. The, the most selling book in history, in the history of mankind, is the King James Bible. And there's been more fruit, more people saved throughout history from just the last 400 years of the King James Bible than any other time in history. So I say thank you Jesus for the King James Bible. And uh, this song here will tell us a little bit about the King James and just imagine this song is about a guy that just got saved and he goes to the bookstore and he, he's asking around about, you know, which Bible do I use? And, and he sees the apostasy firsthand. So it goes like this. <clears throat> Hope I can do it justice. I went down to the bookstore just the other day. I went to buy a Bible, for I had just been saved. When I asked to see a Bible, I could not understand. They had a shelf full, ten foot long, each one a different brand. They had the ASV, the RSV, good news for modern man. And every other version that's made to just please man. They they had the Living Bible and the brand new NIV. And I soon found out the devil is the one who started these. I took an ASV to church, the preacher preached from Psalms. When he started reading, I knew something was wrong. I knew my preacher could read, I knew he was not blind. But I soon found out that the Bible he had was a different kind. I went back to the bookstore to get my money back. When I told him of my problem, he just slapped me on the back. He said, son, some of these Bibles are too hard to understand. I suggest that you should try good news for modern men. I took the second version home. I said, well, I'll give it a try. When I showed it to my pastor, he said it was a lie. They'd taken the blood of Jesus out. They denied he was God on earth. They even put some cuss words in and denied the virgin birth. He told all about how these versions had come along. He took his King James Bible and he showed me where they were wrong. He said, you're just a newborn babe in Christ. You did not know, my son, that the King James Version 1611 is the only one. Amen. I went back a third time. I was starting to get mad. I asked him if perversions were the only thing he had. He reached below the counter, and what he showed me was a shame. Had to blow the dust away to read the name King James. So if you buy a Bible, please take my advice. Only buy a King James, though others may sound nice. 
Don't buy a living Bible or a brand new NIV. Cause you'll soon find out the devil is the one who started these. Amen. How true, how true. They take the blood of Jesus out. They change doctrines on God's deity. And even put some cuss words in. Like the uh, living Bible. Calling David an SOB. <laughs> And then it says, they deny the virgin birth. These new versions of the Bible change. A virgin shall conceive to a young maid shall conceive. So watch out for new versions of the Bible. I think this song does a good job to show the apostasy we're in, where people have changed from the blessed old King James to a modern, maybe I should call it perversion, rather than version of the Bible. Many perversions today. There are over 200 different Bibles, so-called, in the English language today, but only one is the true, pure Word of God, the King James Bible. Amen. I hope this song was a blessing to you. Amen. Thank you for watching.